Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Assassin's Creed 3 adventurings. Uh, it's been a little bit because of uh, brain anxiety stuff, but we are going to continue. I just mostly want to see things. Because, for one thought, this is like... Only, this is still disputed, but I don't see, like, anything specifically unless I need to go down to the brawlers. And, uh... There's like, go away, markers. Like, set marker! I don't care. Why are you being weird? Such weird... I, <laughs> I don't know why that's bothering me now. It's just like, you can set a marker. No shit, this is a map. But yeah, we're going to check out the stall. To look at the new item and uh i'm still weirded out by like oh this is liberation contract even i think i've bounced between thinking it was contract contact and now i'm back to con contract which is what it actually says unless it wants to change and make me doubt my mind so i don't know and apparently there's frontiersmen down there hmm. so yeah i guess we'll go to the store Check that out again. I think we checked it out at the end of last time, but it's like again, it says contract, so it has to mean something. And we're going to try and have fun with this game, try and see things about. We shall say, we shall say. Oh, hey, I remember this place, uh, or at least a place like nope, this is the same place. The hell place. I want to test. Will this let me climb? Of course, now it lets me get up here. I have to know. Will it let me climb from this direction? It doesn't let you climb from this direction. <gasps> only, only there. And it won't let you climb down either. That, that That's so stupid. And now it will. What the fuck? That bothers me so much. Okay. This game has brain worms. It's like it it, it it's like it knew that it got caught screwing me. It's like, oh no. I better change how I function. Ma. It's just like why? Why would you do that game? Why is it designed like that? What in it makes it designed like that? How does that even exist? It hurts my soul. Wait. Let's see what new items have appeared through the universe. Apparently there's a small weapon, unless it's the stone dagger still. Yes, I know. You exist. Go away. I know that we looked at you. So it's just like forever. Be like, it exists. And just will never go away. I feel like I should just be able to come in, look at it, and say, hey, uh, go away, I don't care. Apparently there's more maps. No, I got all the maps. Oh, there's Lexington Feather maps. But I don't really care too much. I mean, I guess I could grab them. But then again, these things will probably be available anywhere, so I don't really care. I thought this actually had new things, but no. The game lied to me. I feel like it's been doing that a lot lately. Since it's on the way, we'll hop by the contract contact, see if there's anything actually in there, and quickly dip if it's just the guy, because it'll probably just be like, ah, I, I talked to you, and he's just like, I, I exist. Maybe there'll be like an actual mission to fully liberate Boston. I can start a ride if I so please. Like, what even is the point of those? Maybe to disrupt chases? But no, the guard's usually on your ass too much for civilians to really care. Or like, well, they care too much. The civilians do. That didn't even look like hay. We'll quickly check, just to ease my own curiosity paranoia. There's a gambler man, and yep, it's just the guy. Wait, no. I, no, you're the same guy. His hat made me think he was weird. The work is bearing fruit, my boy. 
And I'm close to figuring out who's orchestrating this ugly symphony. Mm. But something's got people spooked beyond the usual gang stuff. Odd. Anyway, keep on it. So yeah, that just seems to be a come back later. Things will happen. I wanted to look at the... Okay, that's kind of odd that it has a full... It seems to be like a full building on the minimap. But it doesn't let you actually go about the full building unless I go around and then there's like an upper stair. Nope, there's a door there. Where the stair be. At least I assume that to be stairs because it's slanted. I don't care to gamble. And now we'll check out the Boston Brawlers. I haven't gone there, so I don't even know if they really exist. And then I suppose we'll run down and do the Frontiersmen, because they exist. And usually it's just walk up to them, click a button, and they're like, I have a tall tale to tell you. Drop your barrel. You dare to you just have a barrel with you here in Boston? You fool. Yeah, I think there was like the Boston Brawler like missions or something. There's something like that, that popped up once. I guess, uh... Think you're meaner than Goose Grace? Ah, this is just actual brawlers. an attorney for lads like you. But it's not open to just anyone. Gotta prove yourself first. Here's a list of names. Be each of these fruit and you'll get your spot. Then we'll see how tough you So this is like, just a punch hit squad. Okay, find Peter Bunyan in the frontier and challenge him to a fight. He's not even here. <laughs> That's kind of odd, but sure. And there doesn't seem to be a fast travel point right near it. Alright. Off to the frontiersman. Basically, my... <laughs> That's just kind of funny. He's not even in Boston. They're just like, I have a guy. Out there in the wilderness. Go kick his ass. And then you'll prove yourself. How is he going to hear about it? If he's just out in the wilderness and I go beat him half to death. Is he psychically linked with him? But we'll go to the Frontiersmen because it seems to be the last thing here in Boston that's like existing. And then we'll go on with the main story and see what all that has to say. We did the Boston Tea Party last time which was extraordinarily violent. It's just hilarious. They're throwing tea into the harbor. Kill them. So I don't know exactly where we'll be going. Because I know that Connor put the, the hatchet into the house to be like, we are going to war. Here's the tradition. We have to go stop a land purchase that the Templars are organizing. I still don't understand that. Ho oh, ho, yes, Hatham, we are good guys. Moment we become Connor, actually, we're a bunch of bastards. It just... It feels like they just completely flipped the script. It's like you have a bunch of actors that you see in this one movie, then you go to a different movie. They're wearing the same costumes, but they're just completely different characters. That is the vibe that they gave off there. And again, did Haytham know that they burned down his baby mama's home? Is he even aware? I guess we'll find out when we confront Haytham eventually. Ah, that's why this is. I wonder what it will be. Hello, lady. Apparently you don't care. Investigate the UFO. There's bushes. But what could the UFO be? It's not like there's much here. <laughs> Do I open up the shed? Well, outhouse. The shed's kind of an outhouse. Can't climb it, though. Maybe I need to climb this tree after all. It has a limb. Feels like I should be able to. Have you at least played Assassin's Creed Rogue? No, because I believe that got released later. And I'm trying to at least slightly 
play the game in kind of like the series in pseudo release order unless like something is tied with something but even then usually the games that are tied together get released together yeah there's just a random woman here i can't talk to her there's bushes i'm very confused it feels like i should be able to climb the tree but i can't oh there it is so so now can i climb the tree I have a feeling. Okay, now I can I can only climb the shack outhouse from one direction. All right. Climb tree? Yes. I won't spoil it for you, but the game has a really fun part. I won't feel what it is, but it's fun to do. That's at least nice that there is a fun part of a future game to look forward to. That's always nice. It's an umbrella. Mighty UFO it is. Did I fall off? That's what it looked like. Everybody do the flop indeed. And apparently... Oh, wait. Uh, was that just the UI freaking out? Or did that UFO count as a trinket for peg leg guy? I think it might be. Well, as you have no idea... What pegleg guy is going to do with that umbrella? Remember to stay hydrated. Just the frontier missions are weird, but at least that one gave me seemingly a trinket, which is at least something. But at the same time, it's kind of weird. Why that? Why? Okay, Animus. Uh. What did I do? Oh, it's because the. Now they're angry at me. And they didn't show me the. Alright. Uh, fine, you get to die because apparently you're angry with me. I just stepped in here. They're like, a guy! Kill him! Even though my outfit closely resembles yours, really. Yeah, th they literally thought that I was on their side. I'll kill you all instead. And more guys are marching on their way. Much death will be had this day. Alright, at least that agile guy goes down. Oop. Uh, I would like to... Yes, <laughs> grab guy to be shot by his own friends. Kill your friend for me. Thank you. And now we're just going on a killing spree. I'm going to have to lower my notoriety when, <laughs> before I leave. All because the armies are just like, a guy, kill him. I didn't even really exist. Definitely you need to use the gun more for high priority targets. <laughs> Rude, I wanted to grab him after that. That's kind of amusing. They're like, ah, oh, we're going to reward you with instant death. Uh, it kind of came to bite me in the ass there. And now I'm on a rock. <laughs> I had, the game was like, ah, you don't want to walk towards that guy. You, you want to do a jig on a rock. It was just open conflict. They saw me. They decided, ha <laughs> kill him. For no reason. I did nothing. I wasn't even in the conflict. I just existed near them, and they decided, ah, I don't like the look of that guy's jib. The whole thing about warning Haytham didn't consider his thing was a lie. Yeah, cause it's hilarious, because, like, in the beginning, he's like, yes, I am good guy. I do good things. Commits the Boston Massacre. I don't understand Haytham. <laughs> We're going to open up the game. He's going to look like a good guy. He's going to do good things. And then the moment that he's not the player character, he's going to do horrible, terrible things. It's like if Assassin's Creed 2 opened up with you playing as the Borgia. And you're just like, yes, I'm going to help the poor. I'm going to do good things. Immediately become uh, Mr. Man, Mr. Ezio Auditore. 
and then the game is like, psych, Rodrigo's a bastard. It's just... It's shenanigans is what it is. It's false advertising in story form. Like, unless you're going to tell me that in the years since everything went down, that they just had a complete and total flip of heart. Because, like, in the beginning, Haytham was like, ah, I betrayed my allies because, uh, you see, I didn't want to kill civilians and be brutal. The moment that we stopped controlling him, I've decided I'm going to become a very brutal man and bastard. It's like playing Assassin's Creed 2 and playing as uh, Francesco De Pazzi. Yeah, he's a... He's Francesco De Pazzi. And he's just normal. He's a good guy. He's just doing nice things. And then the moment you become Ezio, I'm going to kill his entire family. You play as Al Mualim from the first game. And he's just like, I have to betray my Templar brothers because they're going to do bad things. You play as Altair Psych, I am going to do the bad things. It's like a narrative... It is the narrative version of Hans from Frozen smiling when he is alone and there's nobody f to see him smiling. And he's only there to be like, see, viewer, he's a good guy. And then twist, surprise, he's actually the bad guy, except... It, it, except it would literally be like if you see him smile it's like oh he's a good guy the next time you see him he's bashing somebody's head in it's like why why would you do that yeah, and I'll need to be on the lookout for like oh there's a lot of huh a lot of peg like trinkets huh hmm a part of me wants to run around and, like, grab them. But at the same time, it feels like that would, like, be pseudo-meaningless and I could just, like, grab them on my own. I don't know. I suppose at the very least we'll drop by there, grab that treasure, and then go up here, Boston Brawl. Then again, we can fast travel to the homestead. Hmm, I don't know. Well, at least grab the treasure and see if we can find any diddly dang wanted posters. Because, yeah, wanted posters don't appear on the mini-map in this game for some reason. You know, they looked at Assassin's Creed 2 and decided, we're gonna do uh, this but worse. There was a reason why the whole Hans being a villain plot twist was a thing, else was supposed to be the villain originally, but there was only one reason why she wasn't a villain, the song Let It Go. But even then, like, if you're going to change something that big, that late into development, you'd want to change the entire thing. Like, yes, I get it. It is originally Elsa was taken off to be her on her own in the diddly dee darkness of the forests or whatever. And she was going to return. But you could still easily have her be a sympathetic character and have her be redeemed instead of just like, quick, we need a plot twist villain. Or at least make it that Duke of Weaselton guy, who is like openly antagonistic from the go, instead of, you know, the guy who's like... Then again, Hans seems kind of superfluous to even have if he wasn't going to be the villain then. Unless they, like, completely change trajectory with his character entirely. It just seems weird. It just seems entirely weird. That reminds me that I have, like, a... Not really a script, but an idea of being, like... How to make Frozen kind of more interesting thing that I made as, like, random ideas on a document. I need to, like, vi revisit it again, see if it's any worth anything. Thankfully, later games in Assassin's Creed got rid of the whole notoriety thing. Yeah, that's the hilarious part, because when I was playing as Haytham, I thought, oh, I guess they don't have notoriety in this game. Oh, and there's the fort. Well, I guess we'll take down the fort. How do I get in? I haven't liked the forts. They seem very bare bones in terms of stealth and, like, hard to get into, so it, 
feels like it devolves into combat. Add in certain other, other, certain other little annoyances I've had with the whole thing. Just a bothersome existence. Because, like, there's a, a decent amount of things here that I don't mind all that much. But, like, that's the funny thing. Is like, some of it could just be... I'm annoyed at the fact that they change things, so maybe that could just be on me. I want to whistle at them. Okay, maybe if I get his yellow attention. Yes, yellow attention. Darn it. I have to drag them over. Nope, he just gets angry. What am I even whistling at? <laughs> Who am I whistling at? There's like nobody else. I'm just whistling to myself. In the middle. Am I whistling to the target? Is he going to come all the way out here? That would be hilarious. I doubt that it is. But like, who am I locked on to? And who am I whistling towards? Or is that just a function you go into... Stealth mode, and you can whistle. The, the contextual bits annoy me. <laughs> okay, your Halloween costume next year will be Haytham Kinway. The most terrifying thing. The dad who left to become a bastard. And then a guy just disappeared. This is all very weird. And now he's back again. Game. Oh, this guy respawned! What? He respawned his corpse! Oh, that's so stupid, I hate it. Die. <laughs> that should not exist. That is Far Cry 2 levels. No, that's worse than Far Cry 2 levels of respawn. <laughs> what? But yeah, I just want to... I want... Maybe... Maybe... I don't know. Because I... There's no stealthy way in, it feels like. Unless I'm supposed to... The guy fucking respawned again! Why would you do that? WHY ARE YOU PROGRAMMED SO POORLY?! I, it's probably because I keep leaving the zone, but like... Y why would you have a zone that f close to one of the entrances? This is so weird. Oh, maybe I can sneak in through the top? It doesn't look like it. the trees aren't close enough. Hmm. At least he doesn't seem to spawn in if you walk this direction. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like the... Because this is Assassin's Creed. And I kind of expect in Assassin's Creed to be able to stealth and to do things. But apparently, no. We have teleporting guards. This is just disappointing to me. Because this is Assassin's Creed. This is meant to be stealthy, stealth, stealth. Get in place without being seen. Kill them. And then the game is just like, actually, we're not going to let you do the stealth in the stealth game. And it's just like, why? Fine. And this guy, he bothers me with his non-existence. His hallow... <laughs> why does the game do that? <laughs> Be gone, Satan! I think I accidentally shot my horse because he's following me. Oh. oh, maybe this is where I meant to whistle to them from. I wish. All right, I am in a hole. I wish I could lock on to these guys. Not what I wanted. I miss the ability to, like, be like, ah, I want to kill both these guys, and it actually happens. I just miss the old Assassin's Creed 2 gameplay. Or design. So that I could actually do stealth things. And not just poorly designed bullshit.
And I shall just grab this guy so you shoot him. Yeah, there's just something about it. Something about this whole thing. And I got shot from off screen because, you know, that's good design. Maybe if I could have stealthed in, uh, that wouldn't have happened. Hmm. Once again, <laughs> that time it happened way too late. Yes, yes, very cinematic. Will you fuck off, you assholes? Oh, but you see, you should know that they're there. And <laughs> you should let me know. It's just bothersome. And annoying. And again, if I could actually have stealthed, maybe this wouldn't be happening. He's like, no, we can't let the player stealth in this stealth game. That's illegal. Stealth in the stealth game? No. We, in fact, must remove it. At least I could do that. Oh, and uh, they're all afraid now. Well, only the ones that saw me kill the guy. They're afraid. Hip check that guy into oblivion. And again, no icon there. Thank you, game. Uh, once again, no icon. Thank you, game. Once again, no icon. Thank you, game. I'm going to point it out every single time it happens because it is unacceptable. Then again, they removed the health markers. Maybe it was a part of like, oh, we're not even going to let the player know. But then they decided, oh, no, we have to. Let the player know, and that guy moonwalked into combat. The ball's on that dude. I swear, if any, if any prisoners, like, leave this place when the other people come to claim it, no. Everybody is dead here. Did you know that in Norway, their prison cells are surprisingly nice? Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like they care about rehabilitation instead of just, like, we have to break these people and use them as unofficial slave labor. And this guy isn't even on the minimap. Why? Why is this game designed the way that it is? This bothers me so much. I just keep going, flashing back to all of everything with the other Assassin's Creed games. Two. Revelations. Even Brotherhood. And I'm... Just the changes they've made to this is a big ol' why. It says I'm Notoriety 1. I'm Notoriety 2. And apparently this guy doesn't care. Good day, sir. This game is broken beyond belief. Like that guy, he did... Oh, he doesn't care, but that guy does. I don't understand it, nothing, no. And like again, and all the bodies are gone, but the gun's still still here. Okay, game. It's just like why? It still hasn't reached the badness quota of like Assassin's Creed 2's Memory 13, which was added in after, like, the initial everything. But this is this is having fisticuffs with Brotherhood over my least favorite Assassin's Creed so far, unless it somehow rounds back and I killed, like, all those guys. How dare you. How did the other guys even know to come here? They're like, oh... That fort over there, they lowered their flag. Let's go take it over. Meanwhile, these guys are probably going to just, like, turn around and uh, try to kill me. The moment anything happens. Well, we're going to go brawl the guy, then we're going to go try to do the main quest. 
And then, hmm. I have to sneeze. And Brain just like is evil and just like, ah, I'm going to taunt you with it. And then it'll only happen as you're talking. You, you, you're waiting for it. My, my body is evil. But yeah. What I'll probably do is gather up the trinkets and the boxes and everything on my own time. And then just take note of where the forts are and then I'll do the forts on stream. Because that feels like tangible content that is worth doing. Because it, it'll just be interesting to be like look at each one and be like, Hey, which of these forts is actually Assassin's Creedable? Which of these forts in this Assassin's Creed game is actually a fort that you would put into an Assassin's Creed game? And it feels like it took away my marker, but I don't know. I'm dumb. Hello, boys. I'm here to murder. Here for a scrap? I am. Let's get up. Won't get far hitting me like that. Oh, yeah, because you're a broken bastard. Ow, bastard. I still don't like the changes to the counter system. It says knockout, but I know if I try, the game will go like, no, you don't get to. Come on. Swing at me some more. I am. I'm going to take out your friend. I like the battle music that's going on here. Come on. Swing at me some more. I'm trying to break. Yeah. Kick him in the nuts. I hate the counter counter. At, at least like have it more. just not be like like oh haha would you think that will work? But no, it actually does damage, which is dumb. I caught them on the offensive. Let me do things. I, I can't attack them while they're come down? Swing at me some more. <laughs> Why did you... This game is just more and more going down and down from the SO Trilogy. Because I can't attack them while they're down? What is Connor? A super honor boy? It's like he, wa he waited there, limp and half dead. But yeah, we'll kind of meander our way up there, I guess, since we're here. But the, the, the counter system, they just butchered it. It would make sense if they actually did something with it, like I've said a few times. Like, ooh, agile guys, you have to, like... Uh, like, basically, there are different categories of enemies that require different kinds of counters to actually deal with. Like, maybe agile guys dodge your counters, so you need to throw them or disarm them. There are guys with good grips on their weapons, so they can't be disarmed. There are big old boys that need to be thrown to the ground because they, like, are dangerous, but can be thrown off kilter due to their poor stance. It's like, just things like that. And then it's just like, oh no, uh, disarm becomes the new kill all button. Which is just lame. It just feels like they... I don't know, again, it feels like they change things for the sake of changing them. Rather than just like, actual want of good design. Which is just disappointing. And again, just like, other various... Small problems... Instead of just building, 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 building. As I said, I think one or two times ago, this game feels like somebody wanted to rip off Assassin's Creed and make their own. Is it in or out? I can't frickin' tell. That's not what I wanted, game. Considering that I can enter the building, I assume that it's in, but... Ah, well, would you look at that? I was... I knew I couldn't trust you, game. We're gonna make it so the player can go in the building. Ah, so we're gonna put the treasure in the building, right, boss? No. Why? 
I am ever more annoyed. We're gonna... Unless it's like a prefab like building that they just threw strewn across the land they had to manually put climbing points in that building and design that building to have climbing points and i'm still getting recipes from that one box okay sure oh hey a feather i heard twinkle twinkle and i'm like what is the collectible Twinkle, twinkle, little feather, I'm going to come and kill your family. I love getting blinded by collectibles. It like blasted the entire lighting engine into next year. My favorite collectible. The one that's just out there in somebody's backyard. You walk up to the peg leg guy. Hi, where did you find this mighty treasure? I found it in a box behind a building. Aye, this'll do good for my treasure. Asher, yeah, sure, come fight me and die. Get stabbed. Ah, oh, there's a lot of you. Just come, come get stabbed. Come on, come get stabbed. Come on now, come get stabbed. Stabbings are free. Back before you get the assassin blades, and I'll just, I'm never going to forget it. Connor can still do that same exact thing, except it looks like he's just using his mystical Native American powers to just instantly kill them with a touch. I'm sure that he probably has like a dagger or something in hand when killing them, but it's just the way it looks. And because like you're playing an Assassin's Creed game and it feels like, oh, they're, <laughs> they assume that you have the Assassin Blades, the Hidden Blades, when you're doing these quick time events. But who knows? Maybe they did plan ahead and have him actually have just a normal dagger. Leave me alone, wolves. I have a... Jesus Christ, it's a lot of wolves. Why? What did I do to you? You cannot skin the animals while you're in combat. This isn't combat. This is pest control. Come on now. Also, I just gotta say, this is, like, terribly inauthentic to actual wolves. Like, wolves don't do this. I get it, video game, but considering, like, the real-life politics that happened, like, around wolves and the American colonization... Oh, that's rude. I think the game glitched. <laughs> the game partly glitched. What the fuck? The friggin' game glitched and just, like, wouldn't really let me kick the wolf off. But yeah, the real-life politics of wolves and, like, American colonization is, like, a big thing. So it's, like, I don't know. Actually thinking about it, the fact that they have wolves and murder packs coming to get you, I don't know. It's actually kind of rubbing me the wrong way. Sure, if you actually, like, sure, wolves will attack, but, like, not like that. And, like, I like it because, like, I wouldn't feel the same way about, like, oh, the bobcats or lynxes attacking you. But it's, like, purely connected to the real-life atrocities that, like, befell the wolf pop population of America during the colonization. Uh, 
and just like, especially because, God, there are utter morons in the universe. People back in the day, they'd be like, hey, uh, killing wolves is actually pretty bad for the environment. How about we don't do that? These motherfuckers out there like, why can't we shoot the wolves? Ah! So it's just like, yeah, when you actually know the history of, like, American wolves, I don't know. At least this bothers me for some reason. And where the fuck is the entrance to that? Uh, I don't... I do not know where the entrance to whatever underground dwarven caverns this seems to be. Aha! Uh -huh. Ha! Huh. Um... Because it is still below me. But it's on a hill. So I don't know. Like, there's probably, like, a cavern entrance? Or, like, a hole to fall in? I thought it might be a cavern entrance. God damn it. Uh, I guess we have to look for just a hole. Here, hole. Connor, you can take a step. You can take a step up. Oh, hello, dude. What, is there something over here? I don't think there is. Wake up, dude. Ah, he's lost his mind. And sadly, I don't think we can kill in this game. Which, I mean, odd thing to say, but... Oh, hey, you can. Just not children. Your ancestor did not kill civilians or domestic animals. Well, if only there was a way to actually punish the player for doing that, like with uh, synchronization health bars. But you took that away because you're a bunch of weirdos. It's entirely possible that maybe I missed... Is there blood on this rock? There is blood on this rock. Hmm. Is this part of like a quest later on? Does a hole open up or... Or what? Well, I guess I'm not getting this one. Weird design. Off we go. Hmm. I don't like collectibles that are done this way. It's like, they're in a hole. And there's, like, no way to find the hole. Unless you use a guide. My favorite things. Like, maybe there's a hint somewhere. But I don't know. Feels like weird design. At least if it was, like, on a cliff. Like, I already got one diddly deed that was, like, on a cliff. I looked down and was like, ah, it's over there. And then I managed to sequence break into getting it. Because I decided to jump to the end of the winding road they wanted me to go on. Which actually felt kind of fun, sequence breaking that. But then they're like, nah, we're gonna put it in a hole and uh, make it uh, annoying to get to. Which just makes me not want to get to it then. Checkmate designers. Which is already a bad sign, because this is entering into brotherhood, I don't, I no longer give a damn territory. Which is very dangerous territory for a game to be heading in. Because usually when I play a game... I try to do as much as I can within reason. Like, I'm not going to do challenges and stuff like that or time trials and get all of the everything, the greatest, like, A plus S rank timings on things. But I'll still try to get, like, at least decent collectibles unless there's a billion of them. And even then, I might be like, oh, I'll grab it since it's in the area. Who is this random man who's just here? 
just on the cliff that is marked as an enemy. He just is here. Yeah. But yeah, just sometimes a game gets to a point where I just go, I no longer care. And just go down the few, few things that I'm willing to dedicate my time to for the game. And this game is already getting to that point, and we haven't even killed our first Templar. At least it doesn't seem like we've ran into that one glitch where if you do the synchronization and then jump off, the synchronization music dominates all else for eternity unless you restart. That doesn't seem to be a thing right now, which is good. Oh dear lord, there's so many. Well, I guess we'll do some homestead missions since we're here. At least the homestead missions haven't been terrible, from my experience. The homestead missions? Oh wait, no, that's to the frontier. How dare you. I'd like to just climb down, but I cannot. The agony. You ever want to break your fall? Jump onto a log. Your legs will survive, I guarantee you. Diddly diddly dee. I know I should probably be riding my horse, but what if I get the random urge to just go into the wilds and kill some wildlife? I can't do that from a horse. What do you need help with? Burglar at the homestead? Connor! Connor! Some lurk trying to break into our house! He's armed! I'm getting... Who are you, random man? Target's killed. This is the wilds of America. We just get to kill people on our land. You can go home if you want. Sometimes I miss. Die. I shot a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? The women. I'm sorry, Connor, but your performance is starting to drag on me. I've been there. What? I told you to head back. I didn't I need to. Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? If Diana's here. But yeah, just like, I don't know, just like a different take of that line, like, oh, hey, <laughs> we killed a guy, leveled up the goods. And I didn't even get to loot the guy's body. But yeah, like. I think I've heard Connor actually perform decently, so I think it's like some kind of directing, but at the same time, like those guys, I didn't need you. It was like, they've actually emoted. Maybe there was like some kind of like director's preference for how Connor should be performed, but then it just comes out meh. I don't like it. He should emote more. Just being, just being weird. And the, the homestead mission jumped. Okay. Master Connor! Master Connor! Dad and Godfrey are fighting! You need to stop it! Alright. Who even are you? I, I don't think I know. Oh, I guess this is going to be the follow-up of the... 
the things that, uh, but they didn't have kids. How many years have passed that we... Um... Uh, I'm gonna oh, flatten you. Uh, okay, introduce new, n new gameplay without, uh... I'm gonna smash you. Uh, without telling me a game. Oh, I hate this. Oh, this is bad. I hate this so much. Oh, I hate this so much. I do... You senseless. Okay, Oh yeah, that, that that's just, they just random mini game to throw in there. What? What the fuck? What, why would you just introduce a new little mini game out of nowhere? What ADHD brain like creative director did worked on this game? I hate it. There's no need for this. Yeah. He's a blockhead. Don't kill off in a spell. Just need some time is all. Uh, especially because, like, I, they just introduce it out of nowhere. The, nothing. Uh, uh, Either that implies that that minigame's gonna happen again, or it's never- it just feels weird! I'm bothered! Not angry, Godfrey. Me? <laughs> Not at all. Terry's just got himself a temper, and I won't let him get away with it. It's really no trouble. He'll calm down. The runt couldn't do much damage anyway. Does this happen often? Ha! I was just telling Lance how I can set that calendar by these events. It's really not a worry, Connor, but I appreciate your concern. And that fulfills the make sure it never happens again. By talking to them, be like, oh yeah, this happens all the time. And presumably letting it happen again. I'd like to go to my map, please. I'd like to go to my map. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I don't like it when games take away my control. But I'm, I'm still not over the fact that they just threw a random mini game at me. N no tutorial, no nothing. It, like it wasn't, like it, you could have had a tutorial for that back in when Connor was a child and like Connor breaks up a fight between friends, maybe. But even then, that would just get repetitive if that is all that minigame is, is breaking up fights. But that is the only context in which I can think that that minigame would exist. As, which makes me think that that minigame only existed for that one fight. It feels so goddamn weird. They spent development time on that. It could have just been a cutscene. It probably should have been. Unless I can just go and break up a fight between those two at any time. And that can just be the... the a thing I do constantly. Can you make a little more noise? Been fixing to trap a cougar I've seen prowling about. The beast has snapped two of my snares already. From what I've seen, its fur is white, mad as it sounds. Its hide would be worth a fortune to the right person. I have never seen a cougar like that. I would like to help you. I'll follow you then. Let Stay us go murder a precious wild animal. Says Connor. Well, at least this breaks the um, Native American trope of uh, Connor being in tune with the wild. Got his trail yet? I'm looking. Who needs to be in tune with the wild when you can just kill the wild? Got his trail yet? I do indeed. But like you said, uh, you could you make more noise? Uh, hypocrite. Look at the size of those claw marks. Better shoot true. 
Why shoot true when I can just, uh, fucking stab him? Well, something got killed. Some fresh meat. Seen this before. Looks fresh. He's close. There he goes. We won't get another chance at this. Will we? Come on, Connor. We won't see him again after this. This is our only shot. Hurry up. You say that. I don't think I trust you. <laughs> All right then. Hello, Norris. You must be here for my new friend. I was dumping a load and he went straight in. Lucky I wasn't in there. Very. Very. What are you thinking, Miriam? Flush and fire. Norris can back off. One of us goes in there to draw him out and the other waits out here to shoot. I will go in. Why can't we train him and keep him as a pet? I guess it makes sense. He's like, oh god, something went in. Oh, what the fuck? I pressed the button. Nice shot. Thank you, Miriam. I pressed the button, you bastard. <laughs> Apparently that's what the game wanted to happen, I guess. I'm annoyed. I can't believe the game used me for land development. Off we go to another homestead mission that's probably Miriam. Again. What will it be? I saw a white stag. I saw a white wolf. I saw a white man. Let's kill them all. I just find it funny, just like, oh yeah, he keeps breaking my my lures. We'll never get another chance at this. It's an animal. It exists in the world, Miriam. Ruben, where are you? Uh, probably making a, a TV show called Charmed. Thank God you are here. The joke would be to be like, thank God you are here, immediately Ruben, run away. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy! He's right there. You don't have to yell. She has been gathering evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. Uh, and to, ins oh, and to an essential now. oils, I see. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. Apparently he wants to run. All right. And that's why you go with the buddy system. She picked some here. Was she taken off by a giant eagle? She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. You're going to end up dead that way, go. My dude. Oh, I missed one clue that I was meant to get before. Rudin, where are you? Ah, son of a bitch. I come in with my magical powers to kill a bear. Thank you so much for now. Thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. For a moment, I thought I was carrying the bear. Going there when the bear just came charging at me. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for 
a long time now. I read that evening primrose encourages... Prudence! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. This Thank is an amusing God. way to talk to your Thank wife. You, Connor. Once again. And now let me guess, the next time I do a homestead mission for them, uh, they're going to have a child, or be expecting. Because time is uh, non-existent here. Like if the like, if they were like spread out a bit more, maybe. And we'll go turn in a few things, like because I we have a few. Maybe we have enough. Ah, but at the same time, it's hard to tell. We'll just go to the mission. Well, actually, well, we'll still kind of go to the mission, but we'll stop by, see if there's anything we can make in the, uh, like, uh, the diddly D. Just that we can. Eh. I don't much get the crafting in this game. And uh, Prudence's Primrose is still up there. Why? Why does it haunt me? It's there eternally. I was like, yes, that is the mission that I just did. Thank you for reminding me, game. Yes, that mission is done. You can go away. It doesn't even leave through transitions. My God, help us all. Inventory full. We'll just buy everything that we can. Because we can. And if we can, why shouldn't we? I'm rich. I will buy everything. For all the crafting I'll be doing, I suppose. Just everything. 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 Uh, apparently, uh, oh, catnip because inventory is full. We can only carry so much catnip. I guess. Oh. Almost because <laughs> I don't think we need uh, too much of these. Then again. We'll buy a few. Meat, nah. Just buy everything. If we buy sand. We can't just go down to the place and be like, ah, oh, yes, things. Apparently, we don't have an innkeeper. We don't have a blacksmith, but we do have a woodworker. We can make the Katouche sword, but we can't make the hanger sword because we lack copper. We can increase convoy stuff, but I don't care all that much. Apparently twin holsters. Neat. I guess. Sure, go ahead and buy it. Can't make. Can't make. Can't make. Ah, we need level 3 woodworker. About a level 2 tailor. I wonder why it's making noises for those ones. Weird. Random noises. Beaver tooth knife. Brass rings. Golden rings. Five golden rings. We can make bricks. We'll make some bricks. We can make some shift ship masts. Buckets, crates. Just we buy things here. It's what we do. Uh 
Then I think I can go down to... Can I go down to the thing? Because I don't think I've gone in on my own. We have to play a whole cinematic. So yeah, these are all the outfits that I own, I guess. So many of them. That's interesting. What's that? Snares. Ah, that's what that is. It's with the tomahawk. The Katu Sword. Less speed, but better combo and damage. I'll take it. Versus Normal Sword, which is super speed, but not much damage. Interesting, interesting. What's with this? Ah, see, all outfits. Not just the ones that exist. Interesting. That is it. We shall leave and do our mission now. Now that we have a sword made by a man who just, he lives here. And what mission shall this be? Am I off to kill a man? Am I off to kill God? It is done. Not really. Is dead? No. Yeah. He retreated when we destroyed the team. Yeah, this was like we didn't Perhaps kill him. A new scheme, I'm sure. We have we to go have kill him, Connor. Him. There was no need. <laughs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Let me guess he's gonna burn down the land instead. Six months later. Why are you here? As Why are you here? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they are meeting? If only there was a, if only they had another scene of him throwing another hatchet into there. That would have been amusing. Now since we can uh, fast travel, we'll go see. But yeah, it would have been amusing if it had if it, like Achilles greeted us at the door and Connor yanks the hatchet out and he's like Oh, so you killed him? He's like, no, we stopped his business. And he's just like, well, then the war isn't over. He's like, ah, oh, but there was no need to kill him. You know, we just killed all those dudes who came to stop us dumping the tea instead. Equivalent exchange. Yeah, it's just like, isn't that guy's name and face on the wall? And Achilles, like, at the beginning said, yeah, these are the Templars that are going to need to die, including your father. Well, I was just like, there was no need to kill him. He's a fucking Templar. If he was just a normal dude. And, like, not to mention, what about that, like, informant guy? Like, w like you were with the French guy, right? He was just like, they stole my things. <laughs> Going about killing random British guard dudes. And you're just like, what are you doing? You should... Connor makes no sense. What's he got this time? Let me see. Let me see. You idle boy. That's not near enough. It's not my fault the game doesn't actually l tell me how much is what. We'll quickly go to the frontier, see if anything's changed. Probably not. And then more than likely head on to the normal mission location of presumably Boston. Well, what am I going to do? Am I going to... Oh, the uh, mission's just here. What am I going to do? Am I going to walk into... 
like the elders tend, and there's William Johnson with a, a big old comical bag of cash, and I just stab him. And then out in the distance, a British guy goes, well, time to kill the natives and take their land anyway. Hostile negotiations. Just across the river. You can fast travel easily, but reach Johnson undetected. But how can I do that when uh, uh, your design is bad? I do like the nature running, though. The nature running is nice. For the most part. Probably should have brought more... Diddly D. Also dislike that, like, enemies don't seem to be highlighted. Am I hidden in the reeds? I don't know. But I definitely see my opportunity to kill these guys. One guy goes that way, the other guy goes that way. On a bit of a loop. Ish. And it's not hidden at all. Game, thank you. The game lied to me. It tells me that shrubbery is my friend, only to tell me I'm wrong. How dare it. I mean, I guess I could maybe work my way... No, because there seems to be more guys that way. So maybe the right way of doing it is to climb these rocks when that guy's turned. Maybe. Unless they're just, like, omnipotent and know where I am at all times. Oi, that's so mean, game! Why would you do that? Why would he climb? He had no reason! Damn game. I hate this. I'm gonna have to restart, aren't I? Okay, good. He decided to restart his diddly D. You're very annoying, game. Very bothersome. Again, what's the point of these if they don't actually provide stealth while swimming? Alright, the plan is... Climb, you dipshit. Oh, I hate you. Oh boy, do I hate you. Yeah, so those dudes up there, they shouldn't bother me here. So I'll wait for him to come back. Air assassinate him. Throw him into the water. Or maybe, because let's see. Yeah, because we're coming this way. But I might want to clear out the docks just so maybe that might be the easier way. Like, hmm, we'll just have to see. I would like to just pick up the body. Why does everything have to be contextually the same button? It's just very bothersome. Oh yeah, I think I've discovered the reason why I dislike using ranged weapons. 
in Assassin's Creed games, and it all goes back to the throwing knives. Because sometimes the throwing knives are instant kill, other times the knives aren't instant kill, and the game doesn't tell you jack shit. And I hate it. You better not fucking turn around and be like, Oh no, dead buddy. You fucker. Oh, you dipshit game. I hate you. That's so fucking stupid. Why? Why the fuck he had no reason to? Yeah, that's not his patrol pattern. Oh, that's so stupid. I hate this. Ah, oh, you don't have to do the bonus objectives. Fuck off. They're bonus objectives for a reason. They're there. They exist. It's just so unbelievably stupid to have fail state bonus objectives. In this kind of game. I hate it. Loathe it. It's so stupid. This is Assassin's Creed Brotherhood all over again. Bad design. Developers who need to be, like, handcuffed to anything but a working desk so that they never cook again. Well, you fuck off. I'm looking at me, mister. But yeah, I just, I don't trust the, like, ranged weapons in these games. Because I never know... When the ranged weapon will just not instant kill an enemy. And they'll all turn around and be like, there he is, officer. The man behind the slaughter. And I hate it. And it all stems from the fucking throwing knives of, like, Assassin's Creed 2. Because they started as instant kill, but then some enemies are just like, I'm not going to die to that. And it's just, it bothers me. I swear this guy started, like, turning around before he, like, purely to spite me. Because he knew that I existed and I was going to come up and stab him. And again, it's just like, the stealth philosophy of this game is just bad. Oh, hey, look, that jackass realized that his friend died a millisecond of him dying. I hate this. This is terrible design. Compared to, like, the other Assassin's Creed's that, like, hey, we're a, we're a stealth game. Let's make it so stealth is fun. This game is like, fuck you. Stealth bad. How dare you want to play stealth? That's this game. It doesn't actually want the player to do anything stealth, which is so stupid. Why would you design a game like this? It's a stealth game where you, you give me options. I use those options. You obviously designed the game to punish those options. Why? Why would you do this? It is just bothersome. Yeah, yeah, game. That's totally what I wanted to do, you dipshit. Player wants to climb rock that can't be climbed. Yes. Once again, bonus objectives just ruin the game because they're fail states. Assassin's Creed needs to stay away from fail state bonus objectives because they're just fucking stupid. Because it can be your stupid ass design that causes the fail state and the annoyance. Of which this is some jackass design here. Enemies that are far too aware and be like, My assassin senses are tingling. He's just like, fuck off. Oh, we can't let the play in no enemy health bars. Yeah, Connor, don't climb out of the water. Dipshit. My patience is running thin on this bad design. Because it is. It just is. 
Like, maybe they expect me to climb this. Well, hey, maybe fucking design the level better. Actually, intuitively, let the player know which way to go. Make it fun to traverse and shit. But it's just like the stealth. Oh, I hate the stealth in this game. And it's like, oh, I'll get there without being detected. Oh, now you want to be a stealth game. What about all those forts that you just said no? You don't get to be a stealth there. It's so weird. Let's see. All right, it's an instant kill. So the answer is I need to do this from super range. Oh, that doesn't kill him instantly. Well, that's annoying design. That's just extra annoying design. Why let me aim then? <laughs> eh, of course he's just gonna stand there like a dipshit. Don't return to your goddamn patrol, asshole. Just make this all very annoying, why don't you? Are you just gonna stand there? I see you on the goddamn mini-map. Fuck off. Fuck off. Return to your patrol. Or investigate. Choose. Is the AI just having a stroke standing there? I swear, the moment I jump into the water to flank him, he's gonna go back to his goddamn normal route. I hate this so much. This is just annoying design. Enemies that instantly tell when another character died. They go to investigate, but they don't investigate. They just stand there. Why can you see me? Fuck off. I just hate this. So much. The moment that I, like, come to flank him, he's gonna turn around, isn't he? Because this is all just bad design. Oh, hey, the body's gone. Yeah, I wouldn't want to loop that. I hate this so much. Die. At least I got my arrows back, even though they didn't kill. But just goddamn, I dislike this design. I hate the stealth in this stealth game. It's just bothersome to deal with. I don't even know what cliff faces I can climb. And in all the likelihood, if I try to go, like, super stealth, the game's gonna screw me. And it doesn't seem like there's gonna be much, uh, in the way of, uh, checkpoints here, it don't feel like. Like, the guy's there. Why isn't, why isn't the assassination prompt showing up? Is it because there's shit in the way? I dislike this so much. Yeah, because I need to keep drawing... Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. No, 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 no. I fucking hate this so much. I fucking hate this so much. If you have fail state, like, bonus objectives, you need to give the player control of saves. Ah, uh, but then they'd abuse things. Tough shit, dickface. This is just bad design. And it took away all my arrows. I had two arrows, now that it's all gone. I fucking hate this. All the developers were brain dead while they were making this. 
They hooked them all up to, like, a Lotus Eater machine. And be like, ah, oh, yes, dead brains. Make thing for dead brain people. That's such a bafflingly stupid design. And also baffling stupid as that guy didn't go on his way. Fuck off, asshole. Oh, it's getting away. Yeah, you come back in it. Shut the fuck up. You are not interesting, game. Man, yeah, that's such a baffling design. Kill him. Kill him. Why can't I kill him? I'm- he's right above me. In ledge grab zone area. And the game is just like, no, you don't get to. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's bad enough that you just like, oh hey, in that alternate timeline, you know, in that one checkpoint, you had three arrows and you reloaded that checkpoint and now you have none. What is this fucking design? I get into fucking ledge grab and then it just says, fuck you, no ledge grab. Like, if that's an in Some of this stuff feels like it had to be intentional. And if it is intentional... Just like, there should have been a developer mutiny. All the developers are like... We are going to throw- we're going to defenestrate you out of a window and into a pile of cactuses. Why are you looking at me, you jackass? How about you fuck off? And suddenly, this is, uh... Suddenly... Now I can do it. What the f- I hate that so much. Why do they just immediately turn around? Oh, well, they hurt things. Fuck off. If that's gonna be a system, telegraph it somehow, dude. Tutorialize it. Ah, you need to be careful. Uh, enemies can hear when you kill other enemies. Actually tell players how to stealth in your goddamn stealth game. You dense-ass motherfucker. Then again, apparently you don't want players to actually stealth the game because you take away their bow and arrow ammo. I loathe it so much. Oh, but you can just ignore the bonus objectives, but I don't even know what the fuck they do. In Brotherhood, it actually unlocked good shit, and that game was terrible. In the matter of the bonus objectives. But yeah, it's just so goddamn stupid that they're like, oh, I'm gonna look around now. Ah. Why? Why would you do that, you fucking dipshit? Because, like, it is definitely not noise-based. At all. Because I've killed characters... Uh, that should not have been heard by others. And they're like, I'm going to turn around now. What the fuck? Okay, you cheating ass game. What the fuck was that? I killed a guy in the hidey spot. And then the game is just like, oh, we need to tell that other guy where Connor is. So it just revealed my location for a split second, turned him aggro, but then, like, had a seizure stroke. Realized, oh fuck, we shouldn't have done that. And then reset, but still took away my goddamn bonus objective. What the fuck? Game. This was made by the fucking D team that helmed the 13th memory sequence of Assassin's Creed 2. The worst people at Ubisoft who should not be making games. I'm sorry, but this is just unacceptable. Like, other things I can gripe about and kind of go, okay, fine, maybe. Like, oh, he heard him splash into the water. That's why he came a-looking. Maybe that, sure. 
But this, if he does it a fucking again, I swear to God. We are fucking far away. We're in a hidey hole. I stab. Don't you fucking dare game. Because, like, there's so many wacky, stupid bullshit with this game that I don't even know what's intentional and what's not sometimes. Like, the, the, the guards that respawn out of nowhere. How much is that intentional? Is that guy going to come looking for his buddy? What about that guy? What is the range on this super telepathic, I know the fuck what's going on bullshit? Because I hate it. I hate it so much. It's just so bothersome. And annoyingly designed. It's like... It's like an alien looked at a stealth game. And is trying to recreate it. Because we got to wait for this guy to come down, turn around, do a jig, slap your mom... This is just such an uninterestingly designed mission so far. Like, who knows? Maybe the other direction of climbing the mountain to the right is more interesting, but I don't know. It feels like the game is pushing me in this direction. Kill him. Kill him. What the fuck? Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. I am pressing the motherfucking button, dude! Oh, I hate this. The game isn't allowing me to kill him. This guy is immortal! I can steal from him! Actually, no, I can't. Do you just not exist? Can you see me? Okay. Be cursed for eternity. I, I just know that if I kill that guy, he's gonna activate. You fuck is wrong with this bullshit, dude. <laughs> like, I get some of it is me fucking up. Oh, hey, you, you're magic. Sure. I hate that they're ju they just know where I am. I hate that they just know where I am and know how to look for me. This is so stupid. Can we bring back everything from Assassin's Creed 2? I'm gonna be blunt, like... Everything. This is bad. Ooh, I love... The, this might... <laughs> what the fuck?! I hate you! I hate you, game! What is with that one spot? You walk over it, the game freaks out! has a good old spaz attack. And just like, oh, yep, yeah, they know what you want. No, what the fuck? Genuinely, what the fuck was wrong with the people that made this game? Like, a lot of it could probably be who knows, maybe this was made in five months by two guys with the Ubisoft director just staring at them the entire time, eyes wide open. And they're just like, sir, we made this system. Make naval combat. Sir, we, we made the naval combat. Make stealth bad. Like, who knows? This is fucking atrocious. I hate this. One guy just doesn't exist as an entity I can whistle at him. He can hobble over like a glitched out fuck. This is a remastered version. I just want to stealth in the stealth game. Is that too much to ask? Apparently! Just like, Jesus Christ! I just want to stealth in the stealth game. You put it as a bonus objective. Why are you being an ass? 
Oh, but my bad. I guess I didn't hide the goddamn body. Then again, you put the goddamn pickup weapon button on the pickup body button. Again, why is, why is B for everything in this goddamn game? Surely you can te contextualize other buttons so that they don't just all line up on each other. And again, it's just criminal that the game dares to remember that I used my arrows, but then didn't remember that I picked up two arrows. So when I go back to having, like, the area when I had three arrows, it's like, oh, we actually have none. This game is an enigma. This game is an enigma wrapped up in anger and spite. I swear. Come to me and die. Never mind, this guy is just... He doesn't exist. Oh, but I just know that when that guy comes back and I stab him, he's gonna go, Oh, what happened to my buddy? And activate like a goddamn sleeper agent. I think the main reason why I'm starting to despise this entry is because the basic game doesn't work. I give Brotherhood shit. At least the basic game works. So yeah, this is a this guy that that guy isn't even carrying his goddamn diddly d. Hello, friend. I miss Assassin's Creed 2 so fucking much. Because then there was a simp there was a nice like leniency period. You play the game, you go, I'm gonna stab that guy, the guy turns around because the game's a cheating bastard, you stab him, oh you're still in stealth. Not in this game, because this was made by five year olds. They enslaved a bunch of five-year-olds like monkeys at a typewriting factory and set them to work. That is what happened. That's the new canon. That is the new canon event of all those children. Man, this is just unacceptably bad compared to the other Assassin's Creed's. They just randomly change shit for no reason, making it just feel terrible to play. And they can't even get things to work right. Like, it would be one thing if, like, how is it that I can pull that guy off the pier? And he can fall into the... It did the fucking thing again, I hate it. <laughs> but even then it wasn't that bad. There was just, I step, he's just like, there was a person... I yank the guy off the pier. That guy notices he walks towards me. Come get me, you fuckhead. Yeah, uh, Whistle does nothing until he returns to his base state. That's good design. Am I gonna trip and activate the other sleeper agent? No. Good. The more I play this game, the more it just disintegrates. Like, other parts, like, yeah, sure, it could be me fucking up, or it could just be, like, minor little things, but I swear, the more that I play the game, the more that the basic functions of the game stop functioning. Initially, it was amusing when, like, a guard guy just goes, he diddly he, I'm going to basically spawn on top of you and hear your whistle rather than the guy you're soft-locked onto. I'm still annoyed that they got rid of the active lock. Yeah, don't let the player choose where they're fucking doing things. I hate this. Well, congrats. He's already broken. He didn't even make it around the tree. I hate that these guys are so fucking fast. For the love of God, don't sleep or activate, dude. I'd like to pick up the body. How can I loop the body but not pick up the body? Yeah, I freaking swear. 
I don't even know why that one guy is just perpetually broken. He does not react to anything. I guess that explains why I couldn't air assassinate him before. Just realize that. But yeah, this is this is annoying. This is highly bothersome. I miss my arrows. And now I don't even know where's a good hiding spot. And the main thing is, is like, okay, these guys... Would they count if I killed in front of them? Would they care? Would they count as being discovered? Probably. Because game is mean. Can I climb these cliff faces? I can. It's a miracle. I, I don't know why, but the, just the, the design of this level is severely angering me. Why the fuck I hate you? I hate you, you stupid ass fucking game. Don't you dare, don't you... <sighs> I hate this. Why is that a bonus objective? Why do you have a fail state bonus objective? You learned this in Revelations, you dipshits. Oh right, I forgot. Apparently they had a fucking purge. Of all the good developers when they made this game. God, it's so fucking stupid. I am Magic Guard Man. I know where you are at all times. Hip -it -dip -it -dip -it -dip. Fuck off. Utter loathsome design. Every single part of this feels like bootleg, shovelware. We want to make our own Assassin's Creed. We have Assassin's Creed at home. This is Assassin's Creed at home. That is what this is. Poorly designed slop. I don't even need to actually interact with the game's features. I just need to fucking find the right way around it. Because, you know, that's fun. Game has to be open world. Don't actually make good things. Ah, but that one guy, he noticed me. Oh no. Oh no, I'll just run away until he fucks off. It's only when they see a dead body that their brains just break. Scale cliff face, run that. I don't know, run away from the guards that see me when I jump in instead of walking away. This is nose diving past brotherhood at this point. Just Jesus fucking Christ. Brotherhood annoyed me in a lot of ways. But Jesus Christ. Oh, they're just here. What the fuck? Why can I assassinate them from here? Oh no, because there's a guy below me. over to you, then we'll be as one in your debt forever. Sir William Mandalay, what hope have we against their black powder and iron? The spirits will guide us as they always have. Did oh, I hate this design. Here? Yes. This level design is shit. Great this is a mistake. We should sign. I hate this design so fucking much. Fuck off, you... Well, let's, let, let's hear him out. Let's see. W will him dying? Nope. I hate this. This is so goddamn badly designed as a stealth mission. 
They don't, like, all the tools you have for stealth are fucking worthless here. I fucking hate it. It's just so ungodly bothersome that they, they just designed the shit this way. Just why? It's nothing except annoying and bothersome. How does anybody like this game? What deranged cult likes this game? Unless it was just like people who didn't like stealth in their stealth game. They can't even put like little stealth like bushes properly. You randomly just come out of stealth going, Heedly he! Look at me! Ruin my stealth! What wonderful design. And by that I mean terrible design. Just like, Jesus Christ. They just overcomplicate this shit too much. Make... Uh, it's like they refuse to make just a good base function. Hey, let's uh, nail the combat and the stealth and then build everything around that. Apparently not. Because this is all just like... The combat is better than the stealth, which is just a sin in a stealth game. I'm just gonna fucking get rid of you. Pick up body. Why can I loot but not pick up body? Hate that. Stop. What do you mean, my people? Why can you fucking see me through the tree, you fuck? I hate this. I hate it. This is such badly designed bullshit! I can't fucking hang off the ledge when I should be able to. Ah, oh, well, you see, that's not the contextual uh, climbing rocks. Fuck off. It is a ledge. Just like... <sighs> loathsome design. Utterly loathsome design. Like, maybe if this was a original thing. This wasn't Assassin's Creed 3. This was Portacullus 5... Portacullus 1. Random game. Maybe I would be a bit more lenient. But no, this is a fucking Assassin's Creed 3. The fourth mainline one... Well, actually, no. Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood, Revelations. This is number fucking 5. There is no excuse here. Doubly so because this is a remaster and they didn't change jack shit. Then again, maybe they didn't actually fix any of the issues because the uh, the deranged cult that rose up to praise this game would bomb Ubisoft headquarters if they dare fix the AI to actually be fun. But it's just bothersome. All of this is just bothersome. They, they, uh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Loathsome, utterly to the end. What the fuck? Oh, I loathe this. Game said, hey, you can assassinate something. I assassinate something. Apparently it was a ghost. Oh, I hate this design. There's so many just random bullshit gods. They took away my ammo, so I can't actually make plays. Random bullshit, random bullshit. Stealth is fucked. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Heidi Bushes. The thing I was looking for. Like, I would try to get a double assassination on these guys, but I just know the game wouldn't give me it because nothing fucking works in this game. But hey, we've found a semi-path, maybe. Nope, they go too fast. God, there's just so many dudes. Apparently they... Ah, oh, there's a ladder. That's how I get up there. Oh, they didn't want me to actually get that super close. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from... You have them surrounded by dudes of guns. protect us and give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwyck. We remember you moved the borders. Even today, your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch. It didn't. And you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. <laughs> Just full on admits it. Why can they fucking see me from there, you dipshit of a game? I hate you. Oh, I hate you. Ah. Die. That better count as undetected, you stupid game. Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? At least the confessions I come back. The confessions are nice. About them. Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. My dude, you are literally threatening the natives that you brought there and be like, I offered you an olive branch. No. Like, you're just like them. You're, it's basically the stupid... Logic of, well, if I don't steal the land from the Native Americans, then other people will. That's you, Johnson. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. This is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. No, you wouldn't have. You would have killed I them first. Saved you, all. you speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. Well, at least there was an interesting confession. At the end of I that evil AI. Hey may the faceless one grant you peace you claim to seek. I don't know what's happening. Oh, yeah. That's one of the super duper troopers. I hate you. Why skip the area when I can just kill? Ah, two super troopers at once. I oh. What the fuck was that? Also, I just gotta say... Uh, yes, limit the Native American casualties. Uh, all of them are dead. Let's see... 
Need to find, like, a good cliff. Ah, that seems to be a good cliff. Um... I hate you, game. You are badly designed. Why would you have a thing leading off... You have a branch leading off a cliff with birds on it. And then you're just like, actually, you die. What is, what is with this game and just having terrible design decisions at every single way? Because, like, it's like, oh, perform a swan dive to escape. Where? Because I, I thought the last one was safe. Why should I trust you now? So maybe that was meant to work well, but the diddly D swan dive system didn't launch me into the water properly. Oh, I hate this so much. And I still don't know what the bonus objectives even do. All I know is I don't have to play that mission again. Yay! Him, the Templar plot to steal the land. Yeah, they're just gonna try again. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this? Once again, it loads so fast that the monologue doesn't fit us. And the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father. I know. Then again, he's not really your father. He was never there for you. But do you believe them? Watch. Seems we've company. I didn't even hear anything. How'd you get ahead of me, Achilles? What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. Ah, <laughs> the guy I'm looking for is there. Is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? <laughs> Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... Again, just, there needs to be a bit more to, like, Connor's performance. It's too samey and monotone all the time. Because, like, the actions that the character is taking, the motivations, the seeming thoughts are interesting, but the performance direction is just poor. So, so I... I say an invisible wall, and then there's not. God, this game is so annoying. <laughs> How can you look at the previous entries of Assassin's Creed and go, we're not going to do that? So utterly bothersome. It hurts my soul. Afternoon. I can't even bump him. Crime. Hello there.
What be this mission? Hello, sir. Would you like a draft of ale or some bread and cheese? Connor, this here is Oliver and that is Corrine. Great people. Ollie, this is Connor, the man I was talking about. The Lord of the Manor. <laughs> We Technically not, that's Achilles. And met some of your townsfolk. They were thirsty and we had some barrels in the back. And... I am no lord, and these are my friends, not my townsfolk. What brings you to the road with a cart full of spirits for sale? We were innkeepers. Yeah. The king took our inn for some military such and such, left us out on a round pond. Hey, you should settle here. We could use an inn. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> we would, but without the inn itself, we don't have much choice. And building one isn't cheap. We certainly have a need for something of the sort. I will speak with my friends at the mill and see what we can do about building ourselves one. If it can be arranged, would you consider ending your search here? Of course, Ollie. We'll have an inn again. <laughs> Why is it that, like, everybody else's performance is, like, nice? This should suffice. Here you go. Thank you. You won't regret this, Connor. We promise. I assume not, because you seem like good people. And suddenly there was a frickin' in. Like, I understand from a gameplay perspective, but it's just like, and then suddenly, building! And apparently we can go in, but right now, I don't quite care. Can I just teleport to Boston? I can. I fast travel away. Who knows, maybe a Boston mission. Even my microphone wants nothing to do with this. But who knows, maybe a Boston mission will be slightly better. Magical teleporting treasure chest. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll go grab the chest. There doesn't seem to be anything else. Nope, there's a treasure chest down there too. <laughs> we'll grab that chest. Teleport. Actually, we'll just teleport to this. Grab it. Teleport back up. Grab that. Didn't I clear this fort? Well, I'm not even going to bother with stealth. It's not going to get me anywhere anyway. At least with consecutive kills, it's still something. No. I kill you. There's so many dudes. Apparently, I can still use my Native American magic powers to kill a dude without touching him. I can kill two dudes at once with the same animation. And the game is still doing the thing of like, oh, we're not going to give you the, uh, the warning signal so you can counter. Best design. Like, seriously, what even causes that to happen? Because it happens so frequently where I'm just standing there and then the game is just like, Oh yeah, the enemy's animation is going to play, but the icon isn't going to show up. It's just weird. Light Cavalry Saber. So I'm just going to assume it's because... I will hand the game. At the very least... At the very least. When it comes to, like, designated you are going to get into a fight areas, you don't gain notoriety for the whole, like, city. You only gain notoriety for that designated fight area. Then you leave it, and you're no longer notorious. That, at the very least, is good design. Too bad they, like, tortured and murdered the person who had that idea the moment it was implemented so that no other good ideas could be implemented in this game. 
Hey, maybe we should make the AI a bit more fun to stealth around. Kill him! Like, seriously, I don't, I just, I don't get it. Maybe they changed, like, engines, and that's why they kind of, like, everything's so weird and different. Otherwise, I just do not see why they didn't build off of Assassin's Creed Revelations. Again, it could just be that they changed engines, but dear God, the changes are bad, man. Well, I might as well take out more dudes. I kill you. I kill you by kneeing you in the stomach. Kill your friend. Why do I become more notorious for them killing their allies? That seems to be a them thing. I act oh I just knocked over a goat. I thought I killed it by accident by running into it. And I got what did I get? It's telling me I'm notorious. I got English flintlock. I got money. And now I went down to notor notoriety level 1 for some reason. Sure. But yeah, I, I'm just going to reiterate again, unto eternity, I do not know why they didn't just build off Revelations. Unless they changed engines. That is the only acceptable answer. That they physically could not build off of the code. Game, it's there. Ah, oh, why does everything have to be contextual to the same goddamn button? And make it near impossible to do things intuitively. You mastered this in Assassin's Creed 2! How did you mess this up? It was just utterly baffling. Like, again, the core gameplay, stealth, climbing, combat, all of it was better in Assassin's Creed 2. How did you do this? Tearing off a wanted poster off of a wall. Better in Assassin's Creed 2. Highlighting the the wanted posters on the map! Unless I'm being Mandela affected, I'm 99% certain that that happened. That they did that. That wanted posters were indeed highlighted on the map. Oh, hey. A, a, a mission. No wonder this was still disputed. This is waiting for somebody to attack. But okay. He decided to style on them. Fair enough. I'm going to reload, and I'm just going to shoot you because I think it's faster. Congratulations. That rigmarole is faster. Right, first things. I wish there was a faster way to drop, like, these guns so I could do... How did I get away with that? Like, if... The, and this guy... what What is this? JoJo Part 4? They shoved a lock in his neck?
everything is pain. And all the bodies disappeared, but not the guns. Anger resonates in my soul. It says I'm incognito, but that's not what it says in the bottom. But nobody is uh, coming after me, so I'm going to assume that it is correct. And this area is still disputed, so more than likely it'll be if the main the main quest. These guards are going to be sleeper agents, and they're going to wake up and murder me, aren't they? They're going to be like, wait a minute, that guy's notorious. He's notorious B.I.G. Throw him in the ocean, I watch JoJo. The more I play this game, the more I'm just like, what the fuck? What the f- What the fuck indeed? I have to wait for him to just diddly do things. Goodbye. You screamed after you died, magician man. Nobody better hear this. Of course they turned around, because, you know, that's fucking fair. That's my most fun thing. Fight me. Fight me now. Alright, nobody wants to fight me. Nobody wants to attack me. Aha, at last! One of them wanted to fight me! I'm honestly surprised that the other dudes on that side didn't hear everything and come to fight me, too. Oh, I guess th that mission now opened up, but now we're gonna do the main mission. Thank you very much, Lee. And we're incognito now. But yeah, that's probably got to be one of my least favorite things. The fact that enemies just go, I heard you killing. It's like, I, it's understandable to a degree, but just like, it eliminates so much fun. Ah, Connor. What a relief. You came. For murder. Allow me to, to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Hi. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and... I just, I don't get why Connor is just so angry with these guys for existing. Hoping to destroy I'm not your friend, guy. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not. But you will not have to. His eyes look we pitch black on my screen sometimes. The order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I will cross the Charles River and rouse the border. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. He said the thing. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. Yeah, I, I can kind of get why Connor doesn't like them, because there's still, like, the colonizers coming on in, but... They oppose the... Huh. Templars over whole. a single horse. We'll have to ride together. So it's just like you'd think that he'd want to he'd want to help. You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse. He's docking the boat. 
And he just does not want to be here. I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Um. Excellent. We are right um. on course. <laughs> Why is this game so fucking bugged, man? Excellent. We are right on course. Redcoats. What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. Yeah, we're not going to get into open conflict. Don't worry. I'm asking for directions. So he's not given any. Go left up here. All right. Left, even though that's safer if we approach the houses on foot. But the game, fuck off. And I hate this. I wanted to walk faster. Find the first militia house. There's no way we'd be able to take them all out without being seen or heard. How do I know which one's which? This is it. You have got the right place. Awaken. Your militia needs. Let everyone know that the regulars march for Lexington and Concord. The British are coming. Back in the saddle, my friend. We have more people to warn. They also said the thing. The British are coming. Only it wasn't Paul Revere that said it. It was some random guy. I'm going to assume that. Yes, this is it. This is the one. Hmm. I don't know. I believe we are on course. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. All right. And then I just assume he'll tell me right, left, or whatever. Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. Then we'll go off course. You'd think out here they'd be on horse. Yes, this is it. This is the way. <laughs> Careful, Connor. <laughs> Yells out, Yes, this is the way. At least so far, this has been better designed than the last mission. To the right, Connor. To the right. I was doing as you told, mate. Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. Did you hear that? Could be red coats. Careful. We basically have to go up to each and every house while worrying about red coats. I guess I'll talk to this guy just because I can. Oh. Thank you. All that for a thousand dollars. I don't think you that's worth it. Right Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! <laughs> At once! Yes, 
This is exactly <laughs> Yes, this is exactly You amuse me, little man. This way, Connor. Turn right. Into the red coats, sure thing, Bob. To the right, Connor. To the right. Yeah, but I don't want to get caught by the red coats, Benjamin. Shut up. I know you won't do anything because Paul Revere's here. And dear horse loves Paul Revere. I believe we are on course. Here we are. Best to continue on foot. <laughs> Best to continue on foot. Horse follows after us anyway. This is it. You have got the right place. It's like the only it's like one of two buildings. Are oh, they all dead inside? The regulars are coming. He looks here. different. Get them. <laughs> it's like the moment he's just like mm, he didn't look like the others. Faster. We need to get away from them. What the we fuck? Need to lose them. That's bullshit, dude. That's bullshit, dude. If you insist on fighting them, Connor, ensure you win. I did the... I'm restarting. Fuck that. They just like, I, I shoot my gun and that. Uh, uh. Fuck off, you cunt. <laughs> Faster. We need to get... get away from them. Go through the woods, horse. Faster! We need to get away from them. Good. That oh, was much too close that, for comfort. Uh, fuck off, Let game. Care to avoid any further surprises. Back to avoid. Faster, the game just threw him at him. The game just threw more dudes at me for no reason. Because this game is badly designed. We need to get away from them. Shut up. Dipshit. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Excellent! We are right on course! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This better be the one. Apparently it's not. Game has lied to me. We should go on foot. When there's a fucking time limit. This is it. You have got the right place. Hopefully there aren't more here. Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. It's playing and, the tense uh, music. Put on some trousers. At once. Weird man. And might I say, kind of weird mission. If only because of the instant, uh, you don't get to uh, run away on horse when there's a time limit on. Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. What if they're all dead? No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Then again, there's no sign of anyone out here.
Very dramatic lighting, probably caused by the poor lighting engine they chose for this remaster. The red coats are coming. Aye, so will he said the Torres. thing. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. And give me the opportunity to kill the man, dude. Good. New weapons are available. I'd like to look at the map. Yeah, just random, randoms, randoms, randoms. I don't really care about. Well, on to, we'll do this other mission and then maybe call it off. At the very least, that mission was not nearly as annoying as the assassination mission for uh, the dude, the main dude. Johnson. He looks like he's about to keel over. He should not be holding a gun. But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! <coughs> Pitcairn. Disperse, you damn rebels. Lay down your arms and disperse. No. And then they ran away. What are you doing? Hold your position! Craven! Break us! They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, or not? Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. Why can't I be a one-man army and kill Pitcairn right now? That guy is not hiding at all. He's out in the open. How is he not dead? And on we ride. Oh no, oh, I forgot that I can spur the horse. Get moving, men, with little time. Fucking tree. I wonder, is there any bonus objectives currently? No, there is not. Stick together, boys, and keep the pace. So many red coats I could kill. But I have to go to Concord on horseback. Help! What's happening? Murder! In the streets of London. Everyone run! They're taking prisoners! Run! <laughs> That's almost hilarious. They're taking prisoners! Look! The red coast is taking captives! We have to help! That's bullshit. Alright, that works that up. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's see. What's the best way to get there? Turn around. Extra mean of them to put the bonus objective in the opposite fucking direction. Breaks the flow, but alright. Oi, oi, oh, fuck off. Contextual bullshit. They're slowing down the horse. I feel like everybody has come to inform them. Already. 
Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. But why do you think I'm men up here? Show them the piece Go of paper. Home before you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. That's a lot to have written, James. <laughs> Where's Revere? Captured. Of course. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your lady's finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. Everyone's just screaming in the Fire background. Starts. We'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Something about that guy's voice. It's interesting. Like, like it doesn't belong in this game. Belongs in like a spaghetti western. Man the barricades! No, ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The red coats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon, and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. All right. So this is probably going to have to do with new functions I've never dealt with before, probably. Make ready. Right, it's a line. Um, where's the other barricade? Oh, it's back here. Oh shit. Shoot. Make ready. Fire now. Wait for the signal. Hold fire. Fire now. This is a funky Hold back fire. and forth. I have to keep going across all these guys. It's like. Hold fire. Open fire. Hold fire. Open Hold fire. 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 It's the main. It's the side banks that are the most annoying. There's so many of these bastards, and they have to keep running back and forth. Hold fire! Fire now! 
Back and forth, back and forth. Wait for my signal. Wait for the signal. Open fire. I don't think it's possible to get through this without losing some dudes. Hold back. Fall back. Fall back. They have tactics. Interesting, but weird. Is what I would call it. So far, this part hasn't been bad. I have some gripes here or there, like the bonus objective leading off the main path. Tightening the time limit a little bit, but not terrible. So far, this has been the best mission out of these bunch. Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. For now. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. This guy's done a 180. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. That was a nice back and forth. I like that. And it felt like a bunch of things spawned in and left. Leave the Animus to read it. Leave the Animus to read it. Definitely interesting overall. For the support of the glorious <laughs> George Washington. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I... <laughs> and then I'm just there, flickering in the light for some reason. I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, Wait, what, 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 that, that guy, that, the mid- really? Why is he here? Charles Lee. You didn't know he was here. Do I know you? I would not expect you to remember. <laughs> Come, Connor. <laughs> Why is Charles Lee doing there? What? Sorry to pull you away Those like that, I doubt not they the last thing we need is the two of you coming to blows. He's a Templar. Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed commander-in-chief, George <laughs> Washington. I could have knocked him uh, out years ago. So you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Why can't you just say, hey, that guy is in League of Pitcairn? Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're going to get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. That's funny because last I checked, Boston is like 99% liberated. He's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Hmm. Let us leave it for another day. So it's almost like he knows that there's something with Charles Lee, but it's something to be dealt with later. Hmm. Interesting. Might as well talk. I'm here. Still here, are you? I was walking towards the door. I was just wondering what happens now. There's quite a lot to do. 
Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must to the people. The broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. <laughs> we'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps. But so what? <laughs> but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. <laughs> Better to balance scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. Definitely interesting. <laughs> Leave to Animus to read it. Of which we probably will. And we left the building and we're suddenly in the wilds. Interesting. Well, let me see. Is there... Uh, ah, because I need to leave. And then I can check. Shops unlocked, citizen missions unlocked. Interesting. Hmm. Unless missions don't show up. Which would be weird. Ah, uh, missions don't show up. Sadness. But I do believe that that will be it for now, I do believe. We've done three main missions, a bunch of homestead missions, leveled things up. And, yeah, the more I play this game, the more just utterly broken it seems in so many different ways. It seems to vary mission to mission more than anything, which is just weird. Like, that mission to assassinate William Johnson or whatever, the Landman. That was terrible. That was some of the worst design ever. Like, the design of the landscape, where the enemies are, how the enemies reacted, but that's, like, general enemy AI in general. Said general a lot there. But it's just like, yeah, the AI reacted in annoying ways, which is very bothersome. And there's just so much, so much... To that mission. The fact that it was a failure state bonus objective. Very annoying. And again, the fact that the enemy is like instant lock on to you so much. And it just it's so bothersome as a stealth mission. Especially because of just how utterly broken it was for the most part. I tried to do a thing, the game says no. I tried to assassinate a man, I instead assassinate a ghost. And it's just like, again, the fact that, like, I pull a guy into the water, the other guy supposedly hears me, I guess, but doesn't react for another, like, five seconds. But when I assassinate the guy a long ways away, in a stealth area, th just the, the detection system just has a stroke, auto-detects me, so the guy's like, there's somebody over there, but then acts like I broke line of sight. It's just, that mission was bad. Paul Revere's Midnight Ride mission was all right. Kind of annoying with the, oh, you follow the path, you get shot, and then your horse runs away. That was annoying. Forcing you to reload for the bonus objective. And then the defense of Lex, or, what was it, no, not Lexington, of Concord. That was different, but interesting. And it's just kind of disappointing that the core stealth of this game is absolutely borked. Absolutely annihilated. But when they try to do other interesting one-off things, they're all right. <laughs> like the weird little mini-game of stopping the fight at the homestead mission. The little mini-game of running between the soldiers to tell them when to fire. But then when it comes to repeated core mechanics, they all fuck up and it's annoying. Yeah. And also Connor's performance continues to be 
uh, annoying in the like vocal performance. As a character, I think Connor is interesting, but they're just not directing the voice actor good. Either that or the voice actor is bad because other people seem decent most of the time. It's just Connor's voice actor for some reason. But yeah, this just keeps... As, as a Assassin's Creed game, when it comes to the core gameplay, this is probably the worst that it's been consistently. Like, I still think that Assassin's Creed 2 Memory Sequence 13 is the absolute worst, but that came from the design. The badness around this game seems to come from the core systems just having strokes and dying. Guards just, like, spawning and despawning and respawning. The counter notification not showing up. Just so many things. It's just very bothersome. Yeah. I think, honestly, that I might just speed run through the rest of the game doing homestead missions and main missions and not bothering with the naval missions or the peg leg collectibles or the chests. Because, like, I am just getting fed up with this game. Trying to do more with this game is just going to bring down my opinion of it. But... Still, it's not enough to run me off, which I guess is something. But I think that will be it for now. Next time we will continue. Hunt down Pitcairn. I guess liberate Boston, maybe. Still don't understand why Charles Lee is working with the with us, but who knows? Bleh. I guess not working with us, but working with Washington. Bleh. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me i have many things i do i'm still trying to do edited content on my neon icy wings youtube channel scripted edited content so you can subscribe to that one if you want to lie in wait for when i do if you want more gaming content i have many streams of the past uploaded to my neon icy games youtube channel and then i also stream to the neon icy games youtube channel as well as the neon icy wings twitch channel if twitch is more your speed but then if you want even more from me like art similar to my little character in the corner you can catch me on so many different art sites that are all held linked in my link tree link tr.ee slash neon icy wings or direct link in like youtube descriptions bios and uh, link places all over the different internet sites so if you want to follow them for my art or even if you want to check out some stories that i'm writing on various writing sites also found in my link tree and if you want to throw a dollary do my way or so you can through my patreon but yes, but yes, thank you very much for meh. Thank you very much for watching everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye bye. Meh.